Moving on now, the group of seven wealthy nations, collectively known as the G7, on Sunday decided to ratchet up further economic pain on Russia. This according to U.S. President Joe Biden, who tweeted about the meeting where all G7 countries, that is France, Canada, Germany, Italy, Japan, Britain and the United States, committed to phasing out its dependency on Russian oil. The statement did not specify exactly what commitments each country would make to move away from Russian energy, but said that the actions would be orderly and in ways that provide time for the world to secure alternative supplies. Among the G7 countries, the United States was never a major consumer of Russian oil and has already banned their imports. Europe is far more reliant and the EU has said that it is aiming to cut its reliance on Russian gas by two-thirds this year. Germany has opposed calls for a full boycott. This was the group's third meeting this year with the Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky participating from Kiev. The United States also unveiled a host of sanctions against Russia. This includes sanctioning Gazprom Bank executives and three Russian television stations, banning Americans from providing accounting and consulting services to Russians and imposing 2,600 visa restrictions on Russian and Belarusian officials. The sanctions against Gazprom Bank executives were the first involving the giant Russian gas exporter. The United States, however, clarified that the measures were only against some of its top business executives. The assets from Gazprom were not being frozen or any transactions been, being prohibited. Now, the United Kingdom, too, expanded on its sanctions. This includes punitive import tariffs on Russian precious metals like platinum and palladium. Also announced was an export ban on certain British products like chemical plastics, rubber and machinery. All key sectors that Russia is dependent on the UK for. The latest measures announced by Britain will bring the total value of products subject to sanctions to over $4 billion. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news 